happy Sunday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, today is Sunday and I'm currently getting ready to head out to this like, um, let's call it a barbecue. <laughs> barbecue so that's where I'm gonna be heading right now I'm gonna be going with Kosser then a couple other friends we're going to be heading to this barbecue thing Renee is actually at her parents house but I'm trying to get her to come by after she's finished up with her father so we can hang um it's Sunday and it's a really nice day out I want to show you guys my outfit though before I leave because whenever I leave the house and I didn't show you my outfit you guys never like end up seeing it you know sorry about that <laughs> so yeah just wearing this crop top and then these white shorts just gonna apply some chapstick for now. I do want to wear some lip color like my books and lip gloss But for now, let's do chapstick and be on our way. So I'll pull you guys back out once I get to Costa's apartment All right guys, this is Ron Hey guys. And you're what? I'm single. Okay. <laughs> Say no more. I'm gonna put his ad on the screen for you guys. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Hi. By the way, ladies, I'm just 5'10, you know, average build. You know, I work out a little bit. You know, okay. Fitness is my life. A little bit of fashion as well. Um, don't have the shoes on at this moment, but uh But he's always fresh, trust me. Don't say I never did anything for you. But by the way, Kosser lives in like a beautiful loft. Like, <laughs> that's her loft up there. But um, yeah, he sings. And I know when people say that, you're probably like, all right, he's okay, but no. He no, sings. he sings, sings, okay? And they stopped things from playing R&B, by the way. <laughs> Come, no, we need a little bit more upbeat, Ron. We're going to yes, a barbecue no. party. Madam Hostess with the mostest. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who followed me and showed me so much support from Octavia's channel. She's a whole queen and we all know <laughs> it is what it is. But thank you guys so much and I just want Aww. to say much love to all of you. Aww. Yeah. And thank you guys for going to support everyone that I share with you all. It means so much. That's so kind of you guys. I see your comments and everything. Yes. Love that. Love that. And we're just um, we made ourselves some um some little drink to kind of like live through and Ron's DJing, so give you guys some BTS. Hey guys, happy Monday. So I'm currently in the phone booth of my office. I came in here because I had a five o'clock call. It's currently 5.42 p.m. right now, but I just, um, I've just been sitting here, even though the call ended at like 5.30. So yeah, I'm like a little bit sleepy. I came into the office like after one, so it was kind of like a weird, um, a weird day. It started late and um, I'm about to wrap up now though because I want to run by the mall before I go home. I want to stop into Sephora. I want to stop into Aritzia to pick up something. I'm not buying any new clothes. Um, but I did order something. I did buy something in store and they did not have my size. So they ordered it and it's at the store now waiting for me. So I'm going to just go to the store to pick that up. And then, so Aritzia, Sephora. And then I also want to go to the Hermes store to see if they have the Oran sandal in stock because I would definitely pick that up today. Oh, I think I also have to um, plan my week out. I have my planner and stuff in here because I need to plan out my week. Um, what what week is this? This is the week of um, the 20th to the... Yeah, I need to plan my week out for sure. So I do have to plan my week out. This is June. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to plan my week out because that's kind of like why I even came in here in the first place for the call and to do that but I've been literally sitting here staring in space for the past 10 minutes so I'm just gonna do my planner first because I need to organize my week I've been literally just slacking I don't know what's going on there's so much stuff going on so I need to plan myself out and then I want to get started on uh, the, the mall stuff and then um I'm gonna work through that I'm gonna work tonight as well I'm just gonna like do what I gotta I have to do first and I'm gonna come back in here and edit a video I'm helping Renee with like her channel like editing and stuff so I'm doing that for her and then I'm just going to I don't have any videos for this week actually actually no I have to post a video today as well okay I'm good <laughs> okay I'm just gonna go plan because I'm literally like Stop. 
Bloomingdale's. Let's find the perfume counter. I think this is the Maison Francis. I might smell gentle fluidity. I'm gonna smell this. I'm gonna smell gentle fluidity again. And I'm gonna try Feminine Pluriel. I might. Yes, please. Um, may I smell um, gentle fluidity and the feminine pluriel, please? And then go back and we smell that for like a minute. Okay. This is um, gentle fluidity. I really like this one. Ooh. This smells amazing. Like, actually amazing. This one. Both smell so good. Completely in May. Um, so this line is getting a whole new. By the way, guys, it's a brand new day. I didn't came come to the mall yesterday anymore, but I got the Delina as well as the Feminine Pluriel from Mason Francis. So um, I'm excited. And I sprayed it on me too because. I am back in the office now after I'm um, shopping around for a bit. Um, I got quite a few things. I'm debating whether or not I should film like a haul for you guys in the office today. Renee and I, we just ordered our lunch. We ordered Thai food. So we, we just ordered lunch. So we're going to eat in a bit once that gets here. But I'm going to be working in the meantime. I have a couple things to finish up on Canva. And then also just need to... Um, I only planned my week up to Tuesday. So I need to kind of like edit things on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so I keep on track. Um, but that's kind of like what where what I'm doing right now. Um, these are all the things that I got, you guys. Um, I think I might have a slight problem, but I'm using my birthday as an excuse because until I can find a sugar daddy, like what am I gonna do? Starve. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay <laughs> just joking but um i'm actually not joking like i i have to provide for myself as a young woman like i i don't i mean hello by the way renee's outfit is fire today it's a little busy but i like it it's not busy actually i feel like they would really appreciate that look okay what ya? Okay, so it's a rom for you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay. okay, so that's what we're working with. And I love how minimal the sandals are. Yes. Because the, the romper is kind of busy, but not crazy. And I was gonna wear my hair out, but I'm like, that's much. <laughs> no, what did you have? Like a little top knot bun. And I love the earrings too, actually. Mm -hmm. No vibes. Literally, <laughs> I'm so zoomed in on you, you're gonna hate it. No, I mean, I feel like I need to get back into it all. Like, I feel like since I don't go to New York anymore, I don't like. How I need to dress up, but yeah, I'm gonna get back into it. I told you, we need to dress up every day. <laughs> you attract different things. It's true. I always tell them when you look good, people really do approach you dif differently. Um, to them, we're like a little short dress up. I feel like you poor, like, okay, like no, I love this a baby doll dress, the little ha hair thing. And my bust up shoes. Guys, my shoes are so gross. I got a new one from Hermes. It's like a wedge heel, but we're still on the fence about it. I kind of like them, but Renee says says that they look a little bit mature. Which mature? I don't really, I don't really hate mature too much, but I kind of agree with the whole like, you know, my grandmother would probably see these shoes and be like, you know, said so that look good. <laughs> my grandmother would see that and be like, yeah, that's no, true. that's the energy you want when you're young, <laughs> but. That should probably be like, oh my god, I shoot the night and see. I want to show you guys the results. You guys, it's so funny. Cool. Seventy nine says, um, maybe a different style. But yeah, I have to work, you guys. So especially after all the money I spent. <laughs> Goodbye. Renee, come serve your food. Serve mine. No, I don't know your proportions you want. 
Mine is very rice heavy. Um, I got literally rice, so you know mine. <laughs> <laughs> and why do we always have to do this on my desk? You just start do unraveling everything at your desk. And this is not the buffet. The buffet. I like it. Yeah, your Please desk is clean. Over there. <laughs> So Renee says she wants to marry a Thai man. I think I but do. But Renee has one type of man. What is that? What describe what type of man? Because I feel like it changes with you every time. Octavia is so rude. She'll just see some crusty, crusty, tan <laughs> person and be like, there go your type, Renee. Guys, you know how Renee likes Arab men? I don't like Arab. I like Arab. <laughs> what is the difference? There's a huge difference. Talking about Arab and Arab, is there? Okay, maybe there is, but so Renee, she doesn't. I know you don't like guys that look like Drake. Renee likes guys who are a little bit like a mean in the face, the kind of guys that just be looking mean, just angry, just mad. I'm big. Not only big, like muscular, but she wants them to be 6'3 and muscular. And Renee is like 5'1. <laughs> Just say you want a bodyguard. <laughs> so you can say, I'm gonna go call my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So when he walk in the store, they're gonna, they're gonna be like, damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't really know you were married to The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what my type is. Your type. Cause I don't want them to like think I'm cracking on you. No, be honest, like say what you genuinely think in your head. Kevin Samuel. <laughs> Happy Wednesday guys. So this is the current situation. I just filmed a Hermes unboxing for the shoes and this fragrance here. And then I'm just doing a Sephora haul. So my subscriber, hold on one second. So a subscriber of mine, her name is Libby. She sent me a gift card for my birthday. And she's so nice because she knows it's not my birthday yet but she said that she knows i'm not a birthday person so she wanted to give me a head start so it would feel like a birthday present because i do get weird about birthdays i don't like any like special attention it's just my birthday even though i mean it's my birthday i was born on that day miss octavia was born but i'm not like a person that loves attention and just the whole ray tay 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 so i don't really like to like announce it too much yeah i'm going to show you guys what i picked up with the gift card i thought that'd be fun so i really needed some good brushes so i decided to just invest in some from sephora i asked the person i worked with to just give me the basics so a foundation brush a powder brush contour and blush and like two basic eyeshadow brushes that way i can go through my current brush collection and just declutter you know because a lot of the brushes i own they don't make any sense then i got this fenty beauty um bronzer contour thing it's a very rich color very very rich but i'm excited to use that i also got the kiehl's ultra facial cream because this is a very this is my favorite moisturizer so yeah i love it Super Goop. This is a sunscreen that I've been hearing a lot about. So I decided to give it a try because you guys know I love my sunscreen. Then for my birthday gift, I got this one here. It's the Laneige, Laneige Beauty Insider birthday present. So I got that. I'm very excited because I love their products. And then I got a Pat McGrath Labs blush. It's the prettiest color I've ever seen in, in my entire life. It's like a rose red, very flattering on. It's going to look amazing on brown skin. Like it's literally going to be... The summer blush or the wind all year round blush for the dark skin ladies. So I actually stopped by Bloomingdale's because I wanted to go and smell a couple fragrances that Ron had recommended I try out because he's very into fragrances. He always smells so good. He's into like unique fragrances and stuff. So I asked him which one would he recommend I try out and he recommended um, Parfums de Marly. This is the house, and the name is Delina. And he said I was supposed to get the um, the exclusive one. So um, that's what I got. I, I almost did not want to share this, you guys, because it's such a gem. 
but definitely check it out and tell me let me know how you like it and then you guys will see the unboxing for this in a separate video I decided to do a dedicated video for it because this is my first Hermes item so and then this is the fragrance I got so you guys will see all of that but again great smelling fragrance but this is a toilet so it's not as strong and intense you know so so I'm getting ready now to head into my office it's gonna be a long day of editing and stuff so I just want to get in there's that and just get that started don't know what I'm gonna wear yet so we I'm gonna go figure that out right now happy Wednesday guys let me turn the brightness up because I don't know why this is so dark but happy Wednesday what was that camera here like I am not a ghost okay we're better happy Wednesday so it's today's Wednesday I'm in the office right now it's um 3 50 p.m. um I've just been honestly if you see my desk and you see back here you can honestly tell I've just I've just been working a lot today um Renee's not in um so I've just been like all over the office like I mean I'm also in I'm in her section I'm in my section I'm all over the place but yeah I had ha have a couple content that needs to go out today so I'm just like you know hustling working and stuff but I came in um, it's a pretty chill day I feel like I got a lot done and all of that I just thought I'd come on here and say hi um, Renee is gonna come and get me from here because we're gonna go to the Trader Joe's close by together I need like a bag of groceries at least a lot of frozen foods because um just stuff to hold to hold me over until like Monday because Renee and I are actually like we're gonna go somewhere so um just to kind of hold me over because I, I'm, I'm just not in the cooking mood too much so I'm gonna go grab some stuff um, I might make something for dinner tonight too maybe 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 but I'm definitely going to bring you guys to Trader Joe's with me um, and then you guys can see what I grab and stuff but yeah this week has been pretty chilly you know it wasn't a lot of stuff going on this week I think it started off on like Sunday you know with Kosser, Ron and them and then you know just like regular stuff during the week but yeah tomorrow's Thursday I won't be coming into the office I'm going to get my nails done and a pedicure I'm gonna go to Neri, like a little birthday treat to myself, get pampered a little bit. I'm also gonna change this nail design. I love it a lot, like it's very different. Come on, focus. It's very different. I wanted like a marble green look, which is what I got, but for some reason, sometimes it's giving me like camo vibes. I really want something more simple. So I might even do like French. Just have her put like plain white, or maybe like a very, like a, uh, a trendy kind of French. I don't know yet, but that is the plan for right now. Um, yeah, not much going on again. As I said, just boring stuff. I don't want to bore you guys. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, I just wanted to come on here really quickly and show you guys my outfit. I'm kind of like running out of the house right, right now. So today I'm going on a date. We're going to go to this art exhibit and then dinner and stuff. But Lulu sent over some items earlier and I'm so happy that they sent this because I ended up deciding to wear it tonight. I am obsessed with this set. It's giving me clueless. It's giving me... I don't know it's just a vibe and I'm with it I love it so much it's so cute definitely go and pick this up you might see this vlog before you see the haul and I don't want you guys to miss out on the opportunity so it's a little bit on the warmer side but I figured it's fine because you know it's summer and it's not really like a full-on tweed but it's a tweed you know so yeah basically this is what we're working with right now and then for shoes I paired it with these shoes that I picked up from Steve Madden you know the fresh pedicure and stuff it's cute and these shoes are very chunky as well so all right guys catch you later
it is so beautiful here so um i'm currently at the restoration hardware rooftop restaurant it's so beautiful here you guys the vibes are immaculate the vibes are amazing and it's approaching golden hour now the weather is perfect it's not hot so i'm so pleased and um he's in the restroom so it's fine let me go i'm gonna show you guys around it's so pretty here Sorry if my speech is a little bit messed up. I have my aligners in. Um, I have not worn them in a while, so I need to get back to it because, yeah. Anyways, I just got back from Target. I am doing a bunch of projects around the house today and I thought you guys might like to watch me. So first and foremost, I got these, um, I got this, let me show you. I got these things from Amazon. I got six of them and they're going to be going into my closet to store my shoes. So according to the instructions here, I only need a screwdriver. So um, let's see what we're, what we're going on with. It's, I mean, it's, it's fairly easy to do, I think. I'm just like, this is not something that I know. I don't know how to do anything like this. Okay, so this is my closet right now. I have these shoe stands that has the little metal things in the middle, which makes it very difficult to stack my shoes. So I'm going to be getting rid of these and I'm gonna just put the new ones in. I'm gonna prop you guys up on a tripod right now so you guys can see everything that I'm doing, but pretty much this is what we're working with right now for my closet. Then I'm gonna put everything else in here, so yeah. Right, guys so my room is finally done and clean i'm burning some candles right here this is from the jackie Ina forever mood collection thing smells amazing this is bad and boozy um so yeah my room is pretty much clean i put my fresh bedding on and everything my little book here that i'm going to start reading in a bit i think it's like a food um kind of magazines like food and recipes and stuff so I wanna see what's up with that. I love Aisha, so yeah. And my closet, I did put my shoe stand in and everything, but it looks kinda crazy now because I put everything back in here. So this clothing rack, don't mind it. I'm going to be packing shortly. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but Renee and I are going out of town. So these are all the outfits that I'm going to be packing. So I just have them sitting on top of the clothing rack here. But here is a overview of my closet. And I love the shoe thing I did in here. 
I'm so happy I decided to do this and I'm happy that I got six. I was worried about taking up all of the space, like the back wall, but I'm happy I did. In fact, I might even like put two more over here and stack them high. The reason why I did not do that today is because I do have a chair in my closet at the moment, which I love having in here because I love to sit in here and get dressed with my shoes and stuff or whatever I got going on. So I love having a chair in my closet. I can't wait till I can have like a massive closet with like a little small couch and like a table or something. But for now, we're grateful for what we do have. So yeah, that's basically what this clothing rack is. So it's kind of like killing the vibe, but you guys get the vibes, right? So that's basically what we have going on in the closet. It's clean and everything, so I love that. So I'm gonna get started on setting up my new iPhone now. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the shade Gold. Um, I'm very excited because my iPhone quality sucks so much. I'm happy to upgrade right now. And then I got a clear phone case because I didn't want to risk not having a phone case on my phone. And then I also got a tempered glass um, screen room protector here. So I think I have everything I need to make this process go as smoothly as possible. So let's do a really quick unboxing and get this phone set up. restoring from iCloud which might be a while because I do have quite a bit of stuff on my phone I have a lot of photos and then a lot of apps so I know it's gonna be a while I really hope I don't have to like log into anything because I don't know any of my passwords so I'm just gonna be waiting on this to get done but whenever I get a new phone naturally I want a new look on it so I'm just gonna like do some different um Maybe a nice background, some quotes, whatever. But I love the phone, it's so cute. And I just realized that it, it has the corners now, like it's back to being like square. Whereas my phone that I currently own, or my old phone, it's like rounded. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> like two different shapes so the iPhone did not come with a charger it came with only the power cable which is like what am I supposed to do with this did they no longer do they okay oh can you believe this you guys the iPhone includes iPhone 12 Pro Max and USB-C to lightning cable power adapter and headphones sold separately Apple teeth, you know, Apple teeth, but what if I didn't have any any of that stuff at my house? I mean, I have an adapter and I have headphones, but what if I didn't? So yeah, I'm gonna just finish up my iPhone, you guys, and then I'm just going to get started on dinner. So I kind of like redid my background. I'm using this background that Apple has on the phone. It's kind of weird. When I first put it on, it was daytime and now it's nighttime. It's kind of like going based on my time zone, which is so crazy. But I got this one. I have this one here. It's showing like nighttime now, but it has like a daytime thing to it. And then for my regular home screen, I just went for like a taupe color with all my apps. But I have those things on my phone, like the these big things with like personal information. So I can't really show that. But yeah, um, it's still downloading and stuff. And they said that I should turn this phone off completely. So that's what I did. And then I have to mail this phone back in. But I'm so hungry right now, so I'm going to head to the kitchen and make some pasta. And then have some wine and kind of just chill. I'm going to throw all this stuff out because old Octavia would literally put this right here and be like, Oh, I'll get it tomorrow. And then before you know it, I have a stack of trash. So we're changing my old habits. I definitely have like got lazy. And I don't like that because... Your home is like your sanctuary, like it must, it must be clean, that way up here can be clean. 
So if you guys are currently laying in like a dirty room, get up. Go clean your room, okay? Clean environment, clean mind. That's what you want, okay? All right, let's go eat dinner because God know my own great bad. So for dinner, we're gonna be having some cachao e pepe. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. I randomly saw that they had this in Trader Joe's the other day and I was like, wait, when did this happen? You guys know I'm like pretty much obsessed with this style of pasta. So I got it. This is going to be my first time trying this out. If this doesn't work out, I do have leftover Thai food. So let's try this out first. I'm going to have a fruit snack while I wait because I'm so hungry. Before I go and absolutely destroy this meal, let's do a little taste test of Trader Joe's frozen cacao e pepe. Hmm. So I am getting some sort of like, okay, it's really good, first off, really, really good. The pasta is perfectly al dente. But of course it's like frozen, so they froze it at like the best time. Um, there's like a powdery aftertaste with the cheese. I don't know if it's because of like how I made it or that's like common, but it's pretty good. Like I would eat it. I mean, I am gonna eat it. It's not too bad. I probably wouldn't eat this entire thing because I don't think I'm like I'm enjoying it that much, but. bad it's not bad and for wine tonight I'm having one of my bright cellar wine this is the second to last one I have left I have one more bottle I'm just gonna sit down now and watch some Hulu I'm currently watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills I've never seen that one um, so I'm just I'm just watching that now so I'm just gonna eat and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow